Hey everybody, Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at NAMM 2013 at the Godan booth, talking to Mario about the new guitar in your hands. Tell us about it. This is the uh, Montreal Premier. We're very proud of this guitar. Uh, we had one version called the Montreal, and this is just, you know, the newer, improved version. It's more Premier, which is always awesome. Absolutely, that's right. <laughs> and uh, this guitar is quite special, actually. It, it features a, uh, a breathe-through spruce core. Um, instead of being have one chunk of, of, of wood going all across, it's actually like a suspended bridge. So you're getting the, 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 structure, the structural integrity where you need it, but it also allows the, you know, the air to breathe through the whole guitar. So even just acoustically speaking, it's very loud. You know, and obviously with a bunch of pops and pickups in there, and that translates when you amplify the guitar. You get a little bit more acoustic resonance, but it's also a little lighter too, I suppose. It's incredibly light guitar. Uh, I feel it's more dynamic. It's it's a little bit more percussive as well, and uh, it just kind of bites a little bit more, as, you know. So cool. Tell us about some of the features, the wood combinations and the pickups and everything. We're using uh, wild cherry. Uh, we're using uh, maple as well. Inside, it's a silver leaf maple. Uh, um, body and with, with the spruce core as I as I mentioned this particular model has a uh, Indian rosewood fingerboard we're using um, a couple of uh, custom um, go name pickups we tried various different pickups and and finally we went back to the the very first ones that we tried which were the go names and uh, we loved it and uh, we have a Resomax um, tailpiece and um, and you know works fantastic we got graphic nut and uh, we just we just felt like um, we we had a vision of this guitar we worked for a couple of years to tweak it, and uh, we, we released it this year when we said, okay, well, I think we, we got it dialed in, you know? Cool. Now tell us a little bit more about what you were looking for when you were searching for pickups, that you went back to the original ones because... It was funny. It was, it was um, you know, we're a bunch of guitar players at the office, which I'm sure is the same thing with you guys, you know, at, at your office. And, uh, you know, everyone's got a different opinion of, of, of what they, they wanted this guitar to be. But this time, everybody was so focused and everybody was on the same page. I think, looking back, what we wanted was something that you, you were able to get those classic sounds, but also something that was unique, so it allowed the, the player to kind of like, you know, express himself freely without saying, okay, this is a classic guitar, or this is, you know, this sounds like, you know, this or that. It was, it was something that we wanted the guitar to be completely transparent. Um, we knew we wanted it to be chunky. We knew we wanted it to, to be able to, uh, to play, you know, kind of bluesy stuff. Um, we wanted it to be dynamic. You know, it enables you to do some jazzier stuff as well. And um, we wanted it to clean up nicely. Um, and I think we achieved that. Cool, let's hear a few different examples of those sounds. Okay. Well, here's the, the bridge pickup. As you can tell, you know, very percussive. Um, it's, it's gritty, but the notes still come out pretty clean. Uh, here's the, um, both pickups. Again, you know, it's nice and chunky, fat, and uh, we, we feel that still the, the, the notes, you know, are there, they're clean, and uh, you can hear them. Clean up, cleans up nicely. Can we hear the next pickup? You know, um, it was something that we wanted it to be a little almost obnoxious, you know, sounding, you know, just kind of like, you know, but clean, it also kind of really cleans up and, and you, would, you would think that you'd be playing another guitar. That's what's really cool, so. Uh, Very cool. Now this comes in a few different colors and it also is a, has uh, an option for a Bixby vibrato, right. right? Yeah, it has uh, comes in red, cognac burst, a beautiful uh, transparent black, as well as a uh, red uh, with a Bixby option. Yeah. Cool. Now, next up, you guys have a new Acousticaster 40th anniversary, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at that. This is the latest version of the Acousticaster. The Acousticaster is pretty much what put Godin on the map many years ago. It was an um, electroacoustic type guitar. Um, or in this case, it was like a, a, a hybrid, you know, solid body acoustic. And uh, the idea was to be able to uh, blend magnetic sounds with acoustic sounds, but for the electric guitar players. So you have uh, nickel strings with a, with a 
you know, electric neck and a thin body guitar. And the way we, we made that happen, besides the, the electronic system that we use, is we have um, 18 metal tines on the inside that vibrate to accentuate the bottom end. And we still use that today. So for our 40th anniversary, we thought it was fitting to uh, reintroduce a newer, an improved version of the acoustic caster. So here we have the Acoustic Caster Koa, limited edition for the 40th anniversary. We also have the same version, um, the same guitar with a rosewood top. Cool. Now before we hear a few samples, I should mention that just like the previous guitar we heard, the Premier, the Montreal Premier, we're playing through an orange OR15, so it's a great amp, but it's not necessarily optimized for this. We're, we're going to hear the uh, magnetic tones out of this yeah. but obviously it's got two um, jacks so that you can split the magnetic sim uh, sorry the acoustic sounds to a PA or an acoustic amp yeah. but right now we don't have that available so we'll just hear the the magnetic sounds right Thanks for mentioning that right now we, I'm going through the mix jack so I'm able to access both the acoustic and the magnetic uh, sounds however the ideal version uh, or, or way to use this guitar would be to 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 pop in um, the you know the magnetic jack into an amp, and then this becomes strictly acoustic. This this jack right here, and then you can you can pop that into your PA or your acoustic amp or whatever, and you can blend them independently, and that you'll get the the um, you know the best sound out of the acoustic. Cool. Well, let's hear how it sounds with the orange. So here's here's just the um, the humbucker up front. <laughs> Nice and full, and chunky, whatever you know exactly what you expect from a, a humbucker. Um, I could blend now. I'll, this is the um, acoustic by itself. And I could blend a little bit of the magnetic. Now those acoustic sounds don't sound bad through the orange, actually. I mean, they got a little more hair than you would <laughs> normally yeah. have on them, but it still sounds really good. How much is this going for? Uh, this guitar is 1650 list, uh, and we also have an extreme koa top. So this is the uh, the standard koa, and we also have an extreme koa, which is kind of like a, a really incredible, uh, you know, multi-layered koa top that just looks incredible. And those are uh, a little bit more, about 1850. Can we see the back too? And is the back also cool or the back is... Uh... No, this is a mahogany back and uh, the mahogany gives a little bit more warmth to the acoustic sound, a little bit more uh, bottom end to the uh, humbucker. The maple neck, you get that little extra bite you want, so we try to kind of match that and balance it, you know? Alright Mario, so now we're going over, we're going to have Jimmy play the next instrument for us. Tell us about these. Well. This is what we call the multi-uke. As you're probably familiar with the multi-act line of uh, instruments, we've added a, a, a multi-uke, a uke this year. And we wanted to make something a little bit different. Obviously, there's, um, there's a uke craze out there. And we said, well, if we're going to get into it, we're going to do something that's, that's a, a little bit different. And what we've done is, um, is what we call a multi-uke. It's got the same concept as a multi-act. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a chunk of mahogany that we recess out. And there's no sound hole. Um, the, the, the sound actually goes through this little pocket right here. And what we did is we used a really high-end pickup system. It's, it's, uh, it's built so that you can play very loud on stage. You won't get any feedback. Also, it's incredibly dynamic and very percussive. So the body is a routed out chunk of mahogany, you said, and the top is spruce? That's right. It's, it's uh, mahogany that we route out two chambers. We've got one big chamber here, a little channel, and a smaller chamber here. That's, so basically, it prevents um, any feedback from happening because uh, there's no sound holes to, to you know, activate the top. So the controls here are what, a, a volume fader and treble, bass, and mids? Or? Uh, the volume, treble, mid, and bass. Cool. The uh, acoustic transducers. And because the saddles are the transducers, the, the instrument is incredibly percussive and very dynamic and it's great for, for live and but even acoustically speaking as you can tell it's, it's quite alive yeah. but it was really made to be plugged in cool. Jimmy let's hear some let's hear it, Jimmy.
nice. It's nice to not hear uh, wailing guitars for a change at this show. <laughs> Good job, Jimmy. Uh, Mario, where can people go to find out more about all the stuff we saw today? Um, go to godanguitars.com. You'll find all the info there. And thanks, guys, for passing by. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I'm Sean Hammond with Premier Guitar. Click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a beat with all of our new NAMM videos.